Just recently, there was a vote canceled in the U.S. Congress. And the reason why it was canceled is it lost support. The president has been very anxious these last several months. Matter of fact, last couple of years, he's been very much involved in fighting the war to oust Assad in Syria and supporting the rebels. It's become known that the rebels are made up of Al Qaeda and a lot of radicals. And yet we've been on the side of the Al Qaeda. Well, uh, the president said that he wanted to do more to help remove Assad by bombing that country and helping Al Qaeda. But the people woke up, heard this message, and, and rejected this idea. The president claimed he had the authority to do it without congressional approval, but decided because he was getting a lot of negative press over this that he would take it to the Congress and, uh, and get a vote. But in the meantime, the support uh, for this just uh, disintegrated. There was no support for this, and he was forced to cancel this vote. But this is significant in the fact that American people, if they speak out and let the government know and let the president know, they will have to change policy. And now, especially in the last 10 years, matter of fact, even since World War II, we've never declared war. The presidents just do whatever they want. And this is the first time in recent history where the American people spoke up and actually stopped a bombing from happening. And yet there's a lot of individuals in Washington around the country, the neoconservatives are anxious to get rid of Assad, regardless of the fact that they will end up with a country more messed up than ever, just as we have done in Afghanistan and in, uh, in Iraq. But going into Syria right now, their plan was to march then on to Iran and uh, change the government in Iran. But it's very, very exciting to realize that this vote was canceled. This is one of the most important non-votes in, in foreign policy that we've had in a long, long time. And it's a result of the public opinion going against the president and reigning in the president because the president does not have authority to do this. Matter of fact, in the last several years, the presidents have assumed that uh, they can get authority elsewhere. They don't need congressional authority. They can get it from the United Nations or from NATO, which is absolutely wrong and one of the reasons why we get involved in these wars. So I was very pleased that this happened. I just hope the momentum continues. But right now, the neoconservatives are on the defensive. They have been uh, set back a bit. They are trying to rally and get the uh, war-mongering spirit alive again. But right now, we as Americans should all be very pleased that the bombing did not occur in Syria. And hopefully, this will bring common sense to the way we treat Iran and that we start talking to them, which the president has agreed to do, instead of just assuming that the only solution for our international concerns have been through war. This, to me, is a good sign.